Welcome to the first grade math video, Fluency Techniques. In first grade, one of our goals is to be able to add fluently within 10, to know any fact within 10, like that. Uh, one of our strategies is counting on, so for those plus 1 and plus 2 facts. So for solving a problem like 2 plus 1, if they don't already knew it, know the answer, they can do start at 2 and count one more, 2, 3. For 8 plus 2, the same thing, 8, 9, 10, counting on. Another strategy we have is doubles. These doubles facts the students, students should know fluently. Uh, many of them already know these facts fluently, but for those who don't, we do have an extra multisensory technique we do in class with our hands. So to help reinforce and memorize those facts, we do 0 plus 0 is 0, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4, 3 plus 3 is 6, 4 plus 4 is 8, 5 plus 5 is 10. We also have written them many times uh, to reinforce that it is counting by twos, it is the even numbers, so the answers are 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Once they know their doubles fluently, it can help them with their near doubles, also sometimes referred to as doubles plus 1. So instead of 0 plus 0, it's 0 plus 1. So the reasoning is if they know, for example, 3 plus 3 is 6, then they should know 3 plus 4 is just one more. So 3 plus 4 is 7. Our last technique is visualize 5. Uh, most of the questions I had was about this. Uh, visualize 5 is for facts where 5 is one of the add-ins. So either 5 plus 1 or the opposite, 1 plus 5. If you have the 5 in there, um, it can help you visualize it. Just like with your hands, you have 5 on each hand. So for a fact, like 5 plus 2, you can visualize thinking 5 in one hand, 2 more. And we did a lot of that in the beginning of the year. Um, the students were asked to hold up a number, so to hold up 8 with their fingers. And they should be able to do that without having to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 to just know instantaneously that 5 plus 3 is 8. So we're working on that technique, you know, holding up 9, just being able to do it instantly. And most of them are very good with their fingers. Now we're working on translating that onto paper. Uh, so we've worked on that before with our five group cards that we had before at the beginning of the year. Uh, so they're cards that look like this. They have a number on one side and the dots on the other. And they're always grouped in fives. That's why they're called five group cards. So five want two more. If you know 5 plus 2 is 7, then you don't have to count all the dots. And that'll help us later in the year when we're working on 10 frames. You can see it's set up exactly the same way as a 5 group card, just without with the lines. So again, if they know that each line is 5, they can visualize that 5 group adding two more. 5 plus 2 is 7. Uh, thank you for watching our video, our first grade math video for fluency techniques. If you have any more questions, please feel free to email me. Thank you.